All right, hey, well, uh, welcome. This is uh, Mr. Buss. Mr. Howard. And we're going to go through the dissolved oxygen and water lab for you in the video directions here. So we're going to walk through some of the different uh, materials that you're going to need for this lab. And I'll kind of point these out as I uh, pick them up. We've got a stainless steel temperature probe, a dissolved oxygen meter, a LabQuest 2 device, one 250 milliliter beaker, one 600 milliliter beaker, beaker with a styrofoam cup. We got some ice. We got our iPad with our lab directions, which Mr. Buss will be reading to and explaining with a little bit more detail as I model kind of what you should be doing in this lab. And then you have one thousand milliliter container for uh, use in this lab as well. All right, so uh, let's go through the setup of the LabQuest device first. All right, on your LabQuest, when you have the probes uh, connected, you should see something in degrees Celsius and uh, milligrams per liter for the dissolved oxygen. If the dissolved oxygen isn't in milligrams per liter, uh, move the toggle switch so that it says milligrams per liter. And then on the LabQuest device, it's not a bad idea to go file and then new so that you can make sure that you're on a new experiment. Select the mode and change it from time-based to selected events. You can uh, leave the, the name as event and don't have to fill anything in for units, but you do want to click average over 10 seconds and then select OK. Okay, very good. Our lab quest is set up and ready to collect data. Okay, so now that we've got the lab quest set up, we'll go ahead and start the experiment. So Mr. Howard's going to take um, a reasonable amount of ice and fill it up into the small beaker up to about 100 milliliters, the mark of 100 milliliters. That's slightly over, um, but that's this should do. So there's the 100 milliliter mark, so make sure yep, you have it up to the 100 milliliter mark. And then top that off with uh, water up to 100 milliliters. And if you're slightly over, uh, that won't affect this experiment too much, but we're pretty close there to 100. Okay, and so now then Mr. Howard's going to transfer carefully because the container's got a kind of a small opening. Try to get all the water and ice into the large mixing container. It might be helpful just to kind of put these pieces in individually rather than trying to dump it all together, otherwise you'll have a big mess. All right, so Mr. Howard got most of the ice water into there, about 100 milliliters of ice water, and then he's gonna mix that up for at least a minute and possibly longer, uh, go beyond a minute if the ice uh, still needs to melt a little more. And really what you're doing here is you're uh, allowing the water to soak up as much oxygen as it can so that it's kind of saturated to a high, as high a level of dissolved oxygen as possible. Okay, so now it's been over a minute. Now Mr. Howard's gonna transfer the ice cold water into the styrofoam cup. All right, and then um, go ahead and put the dissolved oxygen sensor and the temperature probe. And something to note, the reason why we have a specific amount of liquid is uh, we wanna make sure that we have the liquid at least up to this point here where the sensor is actually gonna get an accurate reading. So we wanna make sure this is submerged uh, below that point. All right, now this might seem like a long wait, but we have to wait at least uh, 90 seconds now, at least a minute and a half for the readings to stabilize before you can uh, start the data collection. And in your lab instructions, you'll see the goal for our temperature is four degrees, and we're hovering right around that. We're at 3.6 currently. Uh, as long as you're close to that, I think if you're a couple degrees over or one or two degrees under, that would still be adequate for this lab. Okay, so it's been at least a minute and a half since the uh, probes have been in the ice water. And so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and collect my first data points. So I'm gonna hit play. And then we've never used this mode of data collection before, but now actually what I have to do is I have to hit select keep. And it's automatically taking an average over 10 seconds. So, so Mr. Howard's gonna remove the sensors and carefully pour the water from the cup back into the large container. I don't know how well it's gonna work with the cup inside the cup, but we'll give it a shot. I think if you could hold the styrofoam cup in there, 
And that's Perfect. a tiny bit that might spill on the outside, but that's, that's no big deal. Perfect, all right, repeat the process. So basically doing the same thing again, uh, mixing the water sample with the air for at least a minute. And uh, the only difference now is that the water is gonna have warmed slightly. So this time the water is gonna be hopefully a little warm. Okay, so that's been a minute and same process. Gonna transfer the water back to the styrofoam cup. Put the probes in the water, make sure that the dissolved oxygen probe is submerged and then wait for 90 seconds, a minute and a half until the readings have stabilized and then we'll collect data again. Halfway done. We have two data points. Let's go ahead and obtain the third. Pour the water back into the container. Do the exact same thing you did. Again, the only difference is that the water is starting to warm up again. Mix for one minute. Okay, so that's been a minute. Again, return the water to the styrofoam cup so we can get our third data point. Put the probes in, wait a good while, I guess 90 seconds, for the stabilization to occur. You can just... All right, perfect. So there are our first three readings. All right, for our, our next step, we just got our third trial with our cold water that we heated up by mixing. We're now going to take this and dump it out. We're finished with these samples. Uh, we're going to bring our 250 milliliter beaker out as well. We'll get that emptied. Get all the cold water out of there. And our next trial is going to be filling up this beaker to approximately 100 milliliters of warm water. You want to let this run uh, until it's warm to the touch. You'll fill up the beaker to approximately 100. It's pretty darn close. Uh, the next step we have to do, we do have to put this into the container for mixing. So we transfer this water at this temperature. Okay, so it's been a, a good minute of uh, shaking the water in the large container. Transfer our fourth and final water sample, the warm water, into the cup. Then just like before, we'll take a reading. Put the probes in, wait 90 seconds till they stabilize. Okay, so we're going to collect our fourth and final data point. With This one's with the warm water, so again, just like before, I'm going to select keep. All right, so I've collected all my data points. Um, I can, at this point, I can clean up the lab, but I want to uh, keep this out because I'm going to want to transfer this to my iPad on graphical analysis. And the next video is gonna show you uh, how to take a look at the data. When you've done all the fourth data point, uh, select stop, and that'll um, end the data collection for that experiment.